Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the RK Tokens podcast. Of course, we are the RK Tokens. I'm the anomaly, Will Farrow. Yo, Thomas, I gave Mr. Slick Lip. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is a special version of the RK Tokens podcast. This podcast is brought to you by Godzilla versus King Kong coming to HBO Max and theaters very soon. This month, March. March. It's going down. Big boy versus big boy. Yeah, Man. I think we've been waiting for this. Well, myself, I've been waiting for this almost twenty years. And I used <laughs> really? to watch. I used to watch Godzilla, the old Godzilla, King Kong, uh, got Gadzuki. People need to stop hating and let Gadzuki get his cameo. Please, stop. that shit ain't right. All right, Gadzuki was look. He worked with what he had. Right. <laughs> they had Favorite. a whole cartoon introduction of Godzilla, Godzilla, and all of a sudden, and, and God- Godzilla, like what? It's me. I'm like, come on, man. He worked with what he had. <laughs> <laughs> Let that man get his shine, okay? All right. When Godzilla pop, when Godzuki pops up in this movie, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. I just, nothing. I- I just pictured Gadzuki like kind of like a smaller version, just running up Godzilla, and then he kind of hop on his shoulder, and he just, eh! and then it just pop his little little bean pop out. It don't do shit, but it's like <laughs> his he little tried. companion. He tried, okay. It gave it enough to be a distraction, so Godzilla could do something, okay. They like, they, I feel like they drew him differently on purpose. <laughs> he didn't even look like he was a part of the same car, like. <laughs> Cartoon. Oh, I, <laughs> I was like, why did they do that to me? I'm like, why his color different? Oh, <laughs> no. Bro, they- See, he looked like a cereal mascot that was just oh, in the, the show. He did. Like, he just got us, like, they got sponsored, and they was like, we got to put him in. We got to put him he in. He definitely inspired Dragon Tales. Like, they took this same art style. And like, you know, you remember Dragon Tales? Yes. Let's make him look like Godzuki. Yes, had to. But that even more demands he should get his shot. But nonetheless, man, we are talking about the current film coming out, Godzilla versus King Kong. This is uh, kind of the um, trilogy to the Godzilla franchise. Uh, This is is. picking up at the Godzilla King of the Monsters and uh, Kong Skull Island. So... um, before we do get into the, you know, of course, the big question of who we think is going to win, um, as the director has told us, someone is going to fall. Yep. This ain't going to be no tie. This ain't going to be no, oh, because of this happened, they can go to re- their respective some corners. Somebody is taking the L. We getting the down goes Frazier yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Easy. But before we get into that, before we get into that, there's one more detail we have to add that people have have, have asked and we wanted to make sure we get correct. Most people are trying to figure out how is King Kong going to fight Godzilla when he's way bigger. So just to catch people up, uh, if you watch Kong Skull Island, Kong Skull Island takes place within the 70s. And -hmm. so now it is taking place in current time, giving him a more a lot of time to grow up. He is now the full version of himself. So now he is at the same height, same size as Godzilla. And so now the age question I don't want to know from the tokens. Who's coming out, champ? Godzilla. Without a doubt, my money is on Godzilla for several reasons. Um, I'll I'll give my reasons really quick. Um, First of all, this is his franchise. Um, There was the first Godzilla film. There was Godzilla King of the Monsters, where he took on not only Rodan and uh, King Ghidorah, Mm-hmm. Um, and and won like he won that fight. Mothra came but through. Mothra came through with the help, but he turned into like nuclear Godzilla, which is still like that imagery is stuck in my head. How cool he looked when he was just nuclear red. I was like, this looks insane. Yes. So for uh, for us to finally get Godzilla versus King Kong, um, they're gonna battle it out not only at the sea, they'll also be in some city going at it. Uh, there was early leaks that kind of went out there about. King Kong having a weapon. It was like a battle axe. Mm-hmm. And supposedly the battle axe may be made of the exact same, of, of one of Godzilla's, um, I don't want to say family. The, but the things that he has on his bike. Yeah. yeah. That'd be the thing to combat that Astro or that atomic breath that we see like in the trailer. So I'm cool with that. I'm okay with this. Um, I think Godzilla overall is going to take the W. I do think they will have to come together to fight somebody. Mecha Godzilla, I do think is going to be making an appearance in this movie. Um, 
one last thing though there's rumors that another franchise could actually cross over with godzilla and king kong you power all right no not power close Rangers. you close but yeah he's close you close uh there are rumors that the pacific rim franchise could cross over into this hmm. from the very beginning this was a monster verse kind of deal they knew they wanted to build up to this Godzilla versus King Kong thing, which is many people, I mean, it's happened before in, in the Japanese films, I believe, right? They did they mm-hmm. did do this before. Yeah, yeah. So it's happened before, so now here we are, modern times are doing it. And who's to say that we don't get the kaijus, like really, like they are the kaijus. So mm-hmm. where's the kaiju combatants? Who do the humans have? They got pilots to operate these gigantic machines to fight Godzilla. But then Godzilla is no longer the, the, the good guy. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I feel like we have to list all of their powers. Okay. Did, let's do like uh, a let's right. do like a scorecard. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Godzilla, huge tail. Yep. Aquatic animal. Okay. Yep. Uh, um, atomic breath. Mm-hmm. Strong bite. <laughs> Very strong bite. Can't can't leave out his bite. Okay. And uh, does he have a mean headbutt? You ever seen him do a headbutt? <laughs> headbutt is not headbutt is not is not is not good. <laughs> not a no, no, nothing for headbutt. All right, no headbutt. Um, a, t- a nuclear, nuclear. He can go nuclear. He can go nuke. Yeah, but that's what about if, ice breath. That's that's if he's hit with like an atomic bomb and he right. absorbs all that energy and just becomes a walking time bomb at that point. Does he have something with ice? No ice. No, nah, that's that other breath, the blue breath you're thinking of. What he, what, uh, what atomic, uh, yeah, atomic breath, yeah, that's atomic breath. It's okay. just cold, it just looked cold. And then King, King Kong, right hook, <laughs> left hook, <laughs> uppercut Look. to the body. So, y'all, so, so clearly, y'all going with Kong, y'all going with Godzilla. No, 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 I want to know what, what does King Kong have powers? Does he shoot anything? No, but that's the their combat their weapon that they're giving him is a battle axe that may be made from one of the dorsal fins on his back thing. So we got that, but he's just a gigantic monkey. He's a gigantic monkey who, like you said, can use his fists mm-hmm. and uh maybe make way more agile, way more agile than Godzilla. There you go. Agility. Mm-hmm. Quicker on his feet for sure. Godzilla uh, has tiny arms, right? T-Rex arms? Yeah, he does. Okay. He does. I thought you said he got the axe. I was trying to picture how that would go. Right. No, King Kong has the axe. <laughs> that's cool. That's yeah. very cool. Um, that's, that's really about it for Godzilla, man. And maybe the, the help of humanity? Maybe? Well, that's King, it? King Kong has that? or, or King Kong? Godzilla? People are people from what the trailer is setting up that people are more on King Kong side than they are with Godzilla because Godzilla seems to be doing all the damage. Okay. So the help of humanity, uh, he does have a connection with a little bitty child. So maybe that, that's his, it's humans as his superpower. Okay. That's it. Yep. That's all we get. Yeah, I'm going Godzilla. I think I'm, I'm still going, going Godzilla. Godzilla. All right. You can't Will? be a comic breath and a tail, you know? Mm-mm. Man, listen, I'm going with my boy K Kong, man. K Kong, in simply put, is in the words of Tony Baker, is about to get that man the skibbity peps. You know, the only thing this film is going to miss is Tony Baker's voiceover when Godzilla is laying there dead as fuck wow. in, in Tokyo. God, wow. King Kong standing there. You want to know I'm the motherfucker up in here that defeated this bitch. <laughs> That's the only thing that that the whole field could end after that if Tony Baker could have did that shit. Yeah. And just King Kong walking around. I'm the motherfucker that be beating these guys. Why, why the favoritism to King Kong over yeah, Godzilla? Just like he said, King Kong is agile, bro. Not to not not to shame, but you know I recognize it when I see it. Like just like in myself, Godzilla fat. Like that's the thing people don't be talking about. Godzilla fat. Like He's Godzilla big. is not good at turning around and whatnot. He kind of a forward pushing person. I mean creature. You know what I'm saying? Like unless he in water, but even still, it's like a big ass tadpole in the water. So King Kong got the agility. So one, Godzilla ain't got big ass hands. So again, he got this, and if he got the axe too, he can knock that breath out. And the thing too, Godzilla got to charge that. He got to charge up that breath before he can blow it. So it don't oh, just really? come out. 
So before he can do it, Kong can just come up and just boom, just smack him in his fucking throat. And then that's it. But he could drop the axe. He could <laughs> drop the axe. But there's he can't also, drop any of Godzilla's weapons. I mean, but there's buildings around too. So he can pick up a building and throw it at him as well. The imagery of Godzilla getting ready to charge the atomic breath and <laughs> Kong running over and punching him in the throat. To like, chopping him. Chop. Yep. <laughs> 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 Such a great imagery, yo! Please, please, you just, hey. down there, you just see Godzilla doing it. <laughs> <laughs> like that's hard, ain't it? I I love the Godzilla sound with that class, <laughs> that, that iconic oh, sound. It's so yes. scary, but it's so it perfect. Is. I wa I listened to the Pat. I ne bro, we gotta talk more even now off of when we're shooting, bro. I literally listened to that stuff on YouTube. Yes. I listened really? to the Godzilla roar from the first one, mm -hmm. the first one that came out, and the and King of the Monsters. Like, you I the time, did you do the timeline video? Yes, where they go I did the timeline ones too. Yeah. How did it how how did it differ? Um. Well, the first the old school ones that were just like that is the iconic Godzilla sound for sure. But yeah. the one the Godzilla roar from not the most recent one, the first one of the trilogy. Mm -hmm. I remember watching it in the theaters because they gave us a little peek of it in the trailer of that scene where you, you can kind of see like the little lamps underneath them. And they is that the one where it's like raining really hard? Yes. It's like Godzilla 20 something. It's like the year. Yeah. Uh, what was it? I, I'm not sure. No, 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 no. This is the one that had uh, uh, the guy from Breaking Bad in it and um, his yep. uh, and, Aaron Taylor uh, Johnson. Dude, yeah, and the dude from Kick Ass was in this. Oh, and Scar and WandaVision. The chick that played Scarlet Witch. She was in there too. That roar in that one, well, I remember being in the theater and the fact that they held that shot so long and his roar was still going. I was like, this shit is scary. That is a scary ass sight to see, bro. For real though. Imagine being in the city and hearing that. That's, That's what I was just terrifying. about to say. The echo of that, for that shit to be mm -hmm. traveling too, and you just hearing that, like, no. And they didn't really change it that much. I mean, they added like layers into it, but it's mm -hmm. always been sort of like that pterodactyl sound, right? Yeah, they just made it better. Kind of like how they did like with the Rocks theme song, just added like little things to sharpen it up, increase the sound. <laughs> great, hey, great analogy. It's a good analogy. It's so <laughs> random. It's like, it's kind of like the Rocks theme song. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, so there was never like a, a, a point in time, like a movie where they just tried a completely different sound. No, they did. There are a few. There are a few. Really? What, like the old one? Like the one? Yeah, the, like, the one or like the ones that weren't like, like technically Godzilla movies, like those off party ones that they'd have. They didn't have licensing to do that. So they had to kind of sure. alter the sound and stuff like that. But they used to get, because there's a whole bunch of Godzilla movies that came out that's not like official. Yeah. How? But it's called Godzilla? I know. So that's the shit they kind of get around itself with a few of them. I think a few, though, they did call it Godzilla. I feel like if you can use the word Godzilla, you could use the sound, right? Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. I what was your favorite one? I feel like you guys seen most of them. Uh, nothing from the old school. Like, I, I, really? understand, I understand why people are such big fans of those ones, because like it was it was it was stupid. It was people in, in <laughs> costumes. It was yeah. it was funny. <laughs> So yeah, I get why yeah, people yeah. are fans of it. And that's how we get here. But uh, I really enjoyed King of the Monsters. Okay. And I'm so upset the fact that I'm not going to get a chance to really watch this movie in theaters because that's yeah. that's the only way to experience it. Like, I need to hear those sound effects. I need to see it on that screen. I mean, but you can't, but you can but though, Cleo. You can't, can, but this is not in LA. Ain't nothing open like that in LA right now. Oh, there's a drive in. I actually was at a drive in theater last night. So maybe, a maybe I'll AMC do that. is also open oh, too. I'm in the car. What am I talking about? No, okay. but AMC is also open. You go watch AMC, yeah. I, I'm not aware of that. If it is, I'll be checking it out there. Yeah. Uh, King of Monsters was my favorite because of King Ghidorah. That's such a dope ass name. It's I don't even know how I knew King Ghidorah's name growing up, but I did somehow, some way. Yeah, like I, I came across Godzilla really, really young, and I always knew his arch enemy was a was a big three headed dragon named King Ghidorah. And out of all the different names they have, Rodans and Mothras, I'm like, there's something about that name. It's so cool. So when the King of the Monsters movie comes out and you hear Ghidorah roar, I'm like, this shit is crazy. Cause it's not, it doesn't sound like animalistic. It sounds almost like, a, like an alien. And it turns out King Ghidorah is from a whole different planet. He's from a whole, like his whole story, even in the old school Godzilla things, he was sent back in time to, to face Godzilla from a previous thing. It's crazy how they built the lore around this character. So I was excited for King of the Monsters when it came out, and now here we are getting ready to watch uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. What about you, Will? 
Man, mine's are kind of like old school. I ain't gonna lie. Um, one, it was kind of like way back in the gap. It was basically um, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like oh, it's like Japanese. Like it's not even like in English. So I just like saw, but it was basically like Mecha Godzilla versus Godzilla versus uh, Mothra and stuff. And so it was just like that's the was, big moth. Yeah, so it was like one year. Oh, it was like a year after like Godzilla and like Mecha Godzilla went at it. Um, uh, and so like Mecha Godzilla and them come back and then they all face off in like this big battle royale and stuff. Yeah, but it's like it's like a different Mothra, so it's not like the Mothra. It's like Mothra face. And then like another one I thought of was like in Mothra's kind of tight. Yeah, it was in ninety five. I think it was like it was Mothra versus uh, Destroyer. Was what I'm on the face. Godzilla wasn't even in it. No, no, it was Godzilla versus Destroyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he would take on a lot of fucking people. I think that's like what, like over fifty something films of Godzilla. Really? Yeah, like the the Tokyo one. I think is like the the twenty fifth one, twenty sixth one, or something like that. Damn, bro, Godzilla really been killing it for years. Mm-hmm. As far as like just the franchise, like people are attracted to seeing that big gigantic lizard. Like it's it's Jurassic Park, but not. Like it's it's so weird how how it's been able to stand the test of time, and people are still invested yeah. in that character. Oh yeah, it's the name too, man. <laughs> oh yeah, Godzilla is just such a great name. Right. right. Man. So yeah, man. I mean, I think that was like one of the biggest takeaways that we could have when coming with this podcast. You hear our our castings of what we are going for. Uh, we got right. two of the arcade tokens saying, "Hey, man, you know what." Godzilla's taking this, obviously. It's in the name, Godzilla. But you know me, I'm always the underdog, man. You know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna go with the boy King Kong. Hopefully, you know, he can get real tactical with it, come in there with a couple of hooks, jabs, a few uppercuts, and then he can lay Godzilla on his back. Gosh, <laughs> bro. He gonna get a lot of Godzilla movies. Geez. Oh, yeah. Tons of them. Tons of them. Oh, that from that first movie from the 2014 when they jump out of the plane mm-hmm. and you see, yo, they did they, that. One, yo, that one is great a great shots in those movies. It was that's a very slept on Godzilla movie because, oh, um, I love that one. That's the one, but a lot of people don't talk about it, nope. like for some reason. Like, but that one was the one that made me actually kind of fear Godzilla, and I kind of wish they'd have kept that aesthetic. Like Godzilla, Sea of the Monsters. Let me, I mean, like God of the Monsters. It kind of got back into that old, that that traditional sense of a Godzilla movie. But yeah. that first one, bro. Like he said, like when they jump out the sky and they're in the clouds during that thunderstorm, and you dropping down and you can see him walking, but just uh, that shadow, and only the time you really see him is until thunder strikes. Yeah. Oh, that was hard. That's that was a great like, reveal for him too. Like. It's him, but the, he's only on screen like fully for I believe like a total of, like seven or eight minutes in that mm-hmm. film. It's yeah. something really, really small. But I, I, I love the first one back in 2014. King of the Monsters was great. Now here we are getting ready to get this one, and um, I, I'm just very curious on whether whether if Mecha Godzilla will be what they're gonna like do to build him up. You know, like if it's gonna be like some virtual reality thing where it looked like Godzilla attacking this entire time. But like, for instance, like, uh, what's the Spider-Man movie where Mysterio had the- Oh, um, Far From Home, where he had the, clo- the, uh, the little cameras and stuff that would cl- cloak things and make it look like something else? Yeah, I would, I'm would. i wondering how they're gonna, we'll see, we'll see. I, my theories are all over the place, but I'm excited to see. They gave that movie a two out of 10? Damn. I hate, no, I hate the internet. I hate you Who, guys. They gave what a two out of 10? They gave the first Godzilla movie in 2014 a two out of 10. On some random website, not something valuable, but just somebody out there was like, "Really? Somebody Have you guys seen the Shin Shin Godzilla? Shin Godzilla. It's That's pretty. Re- it's these. pretty recent. Yeah. Oh, it's it's the one in 2014 is what caused them to reboot their franchise. The success yeah. of that one here made Shin go back and be like, "Oh, so they're ready for more Godzilla. Okay, cool. We're gonna mm-hmm. do it too." Yeah, that's what. That's when I think Godzilla Resurgence came out. Yeah. Shin Godzilla yeah. is separate. Jeez. No, no, it's still a part of it, but it was just like that's when they started like getting everything else. Because then they had like I think like an anime too in like 2018. I think it was like Godzilla, the Planet Eater, or something like that. Yeah, uh, Netflix did a cool thing with Godzilla during that time too. Yeah, the Shin Godzilla poster is dope though. That might be one of the dopest Godzilla posters I've ever seen. Is it the yeah. first one that pops up? 
the red, the red what? silhouette. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it right here. Doing the yeah. silhouette challenge. <laughs> Not the silhouette <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Well, them, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let us know in the comments who you are going for. Are you going for Godzilla or King Kong? Who do you think is going to take it and why? Put it in the comments below. You never know which one of the arcade tokens are going to respond. Um, as we said before, be sure to check out Godzilla versus Kong. It is coming out March 31st in theaters as well on HBO Max. So you're going to get to enjoy it either way. But check it out. See who's going to win. As always, thank you for checking out the RK Tokens podcast. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for our YouTube and social media as well as our Twitch. Until next time, we have been the RK Tokens. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, I get Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we will catch you next time. Ah! <laughs>